In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how to build a website with Framer. Framer is a no-code website design tool that will help you build your website within seconds. So without further ado, let's get started. You can build your own website through the website of Framer itself, or you can use the app. For this, I'm going to use the app. Once you are on the app, you click on new. This will allow you to get a new website. And now we can get started with our website. As you can see, you have this button right here, start with AI. I'm not going to do it right now. I will show you that at the end. So this is the blank canvas that we have right now. As you can see, this is only for desktop. So if I want to have a view for my tablet and also a view for my phone, then I'm going to click on the add button and I'm going to click on this. And now we have an overview of desktop, tablet and phone. Let me quickly explain all the features Framer has. So in the toolbar right here, you have the mouse section. Here you can just click on things and then you can change them. You can click on this hand that allows you to move the website. Uh, pretty useful then you have this one and you can leave comments on your website it's pretty useful if you are collaborating with someone and then over here you have night mode or just a standard daylight mode so i'm going to use this one then you have a section where you can zoom in or zoom out you can also zoom in or zoom out by holding the control or the command key on your keyboard and just scrolling in and out besides that on the top left corner you have the insert section here you can insert anything with AI. You can insert pages. This will allow you to build like a complete landing page. You can also do like portfolios, teasers, blogs, anything like that. It will all come pre-built. You just have to change the images and all of that. You can also add sections, which I will be mostly using for this tutorial. And then you can have like a navigation bar. You can add like CMS to there. You have media elements. You have forms, icons, interactive designs socials everything what you want you can add in there also if you go to the top left corner on the menu bar then over here you will see all the features that you can change for example you also have a feature that has new from templates let me quickly show you what kind of templates are available so there are already a lot of useful templates that you can choose for example let me check out this one and this is just to show you what you can create with framer um, you can also completely change this template to your own liking. And if we click on the top right corner right here on the play button, then it will launch your website and then we can preview what it will look like. So this is a website that is made by a template. You can see all of these animations are added in here. You can see all the text. This is scroll feature. Well, this looks pretty cool, but let's head over to our website. And let me show you how you can get started with this. So we click on the insert button and we first add a navbar. Navbar, we can choose anything we like. We can still change it. Um, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to drag it over to here. And now we have our own navbar. If you want to change anything within the navbar, then you double click on it and it brings you to this website. As you can see, these are the components. So over here we have the variants. We have the view on the tablet and on the phone and you can change the components to any of your liking. For example, if you want to add your own website name, let's go with the marketing website, then we can add it here. And here you can see we're on the layer section right there. And now you can change the buttons that are here. Uh, for this website, I'm not gonna use an about us page. I'm not gonna use a contact page. I will just have a sign up page. So you can also change the button and anything from that. If you drag on this circle, for example, then you can round the corners or you can leave them completely square. I'm going to go with rounded corners. If you double click on the text, then you can change it from sign up to book a call. We can also change the color of the button. What's very useful to do is if you already have a certain set of color, then you can create these styles and you can click on the plus button. You create your style, give it a name, and then you can use these colors over and over again. So this will save you a lot of time if you plan on using the same type of color every time. So let's go back to our homepage. This is what we have right now. Now it's time to add a hero section. So I'm going to go to sections and we have these two options. Of course, you can completely customize your own section. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to go with this one. This is a header with a background. So I'm going to drag it over. So now we have the hero section. You can double click to change the text again. You can also click on this button, then it will write it with AI. Of course, you have to write it in the theme of your website. For example, if you're a web marketing website, 
then it will rewrite it for your marketing website. So now I've added this hero section to a website. We have the title and we have the subtitle in there. All we need to do is change the image. If we scroll down to image, then you can choose an image from your PC or you can go to Unsplash and you can add an image from there. For example, this one. So this is what our hero sections look like. If we click on the preview button, then this is what it looks like. Pretty simple so far. So let's add some more sections to our website. Go to insert again, go to sections, and now we can choose what we like. I like this one, for example. And over here, it's the same thing. It's pretty much plug and play. You don't have to code anything. Everything comes done for you. If you want to add like an animation to your images, or if you want something to pop up, then you can click on the image, you go to effects, and over here you can click on appear, hoover, press, loop, drag, anything that you like. So I'm just gonna go for a pair. I'm gonna do the same one for, let me just check. We can fade it in, we can scale it in. Anything that you'd like, I'm gonna go with this one. And we're gonna do the same one for this one. So head over to effects again, click on up here. So now the effect that we've created is it fades out as you scroll. Um, you can change to anything you like as well. I don't think this one looks pretty good because the image is faded, but you can add something else to this that looks pretty nice. Let's add another section and see what we got in there. So we got these blocks right here. We can add multiple images. We can add this style. We can add sort of like a services or like a blog page. Um, here you can add like three different sections where you can redirect it to a different page. And let me add another section as well. And then let's add a, the last section, which is a contact form. So now we pretty much have a basic website. And if you drag over to the right side, then you can see what it looks like on your phone. Obviously, we have to adjust it on the phone because it doesn't look really good. And now we have the basic layout for our website. So now I want to show you what you can create with AI. With AI, you can create the first draft for your website. I've written this prompt for the AI. With this prompt, it can create the entire website. So let me hit enter. And now it starts generating the website. On the right side, on the, in the meantime, you can change the palette color. Um, if you don't like this, then you can just easily change this. If you don't like these colors, you click on refresh and now it gives you some new options. You can also change the display font and you can also change the normal text font. So let me see what it's generating for us. So this is the website it has created with AI. Let me tell you, I don't think it looks really good. Um, Let's say if you don't like it, you can always click on regenerate and you can change your prompt a little bit to make it better. But overall, you can take some inspiration from it. I don't think this will end up as your main website, but you can use it as like a first look or a first draft in order to create your own website. If you're first getting started with Framer, I would highly suggest playing around with the templates because the templates, they have the animations in there, they have all the designs in there and you can just change some of it you can add some of your own designs and then you can create a good working website. If you like what you see, you can click on publish. And then once this is published, it will give you a domain name, which is like a framer domain. You can also add your own custom domain uh, to link it to your own website. So if you want to get started with Framer, you can get started for free just to play around with it. And if you plan on actually using it, then I will at least go with the basic package or the pro package. In the link in the description below, I will give you a discount. If you use that discount code while you're checking out, then you can get a 25% discount. And if you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos and I will see you in the next one.